Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you're new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video I wanted to share with you a really cute, very pretty as well, matte nail polish design that I did on my natural nails. It is actually made with one of my favorite Zoya polishes. I have it right here. This one is actually called Patrice. It is so stunning. It is like a dusty, mauvey kind of color and it has a beautiful golden shine to it. A little bit of shimmer as well, but not too glittery or gritty. So it's actually pretty easy to remove as well. So I have used a couple of stamping plates by Nicole Diary, as well as a stamping polish just in black. You can definitely recreate this design with any color to your personal preference, but I just really, really love this Zoya color it is gorgeous I don't know I'm just obsessed with it it is such a light color as well so you don't have to be really scared of any staining or discoloration going on onto your natural nail plates of course always use a base coat and a top coat to not only make sure you don't have any staining but to also make sure that your manicure actually lasts a long period of time but yeah let's just stop the rambling and start the entire like tutorial how to however you want to call it it's just having fun with nail polishes and doing some great nail art as it is or while at it but if you are new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet i would really appreciate it if you would like to do so hit that notification bell as well and become a part of my little nail family here at youtube but thank you so much for watching on forehand i love you so so much and i hope to see you in my next video as well so let's get into this design, this tutorial, however you want to call it, because pretty simply sad, there are no rules to nail art. So yeah, you can just recreate this in any way you want to or prefer or anything like that. And as mentioned in the intro, I have already applied a base coat, just a random one by Essence, and I have applied a beautiful couple of coats of this Zoya polish called Patrice. There is going to be a full on nail polish of the week video on that one in a little bit, but just keep an eye out for that if you're curious about that. And as far as the stamping plates go, I'm going to use two by Nicole Diary. I've had these for quite some time, but really haven't used them a lot. And my stamper is actually a very old but trusty one by Essence Cosmetics. Unfortunately, they don't sell this one one anymore fortunately for me i still have a backup but yeah this first one is getting a little torn a little scratched up so i am scared i'm going to have to use my last final and second one so yeah i really hope they are coming back out with that stamper because it is so good it's the best one i've ever tried so yeah i'm going to start off with the fish kind of koi fish carper however you want to call it plate um, you can get this plate still at AliExpress, but I don't have a link. So yeah, you I think you can get it at AliExpress and otherwise you can get it at Nicole Diary, their web store itself. But I am going to stamp on two of those koi fish or goldfish. I don't even know. They kind of reminded me of like those big koi fish that like everyone has seen once or twice in their life. But I know there are a lot of goldfish kind of like... Um, fish out there as well but yeah I just wanted to mention that on the thumb like the fish plate really didn't stamp that nicely um, in the rest of the video you will see it definitely wasn't my skills or application stamper or polish it was just the plate because the other plate definitely transferred perfectly so yeah, if you have any issues with that, maybe not the entire design is coming off of the stamper or even onto the stamper, you can just apply another stamp on the batchy spots or bare spots and just cover it up like I did on the thumb as well. I just decided to get a little bit of like a water kind of wave design going on there on the spot that didn't fully transfer. And for the rest of the nails, I'm going in with that other plate, which kind of has like a splatter and lines designs on that. I just really wanted to tie it in a little bit more, so I'm just going to add those designs or different ones to the other three fingers, as well as placing tiny parts of those images to the thumb and the middle finger as well. 
I really wanted to only use black stamping polish because I feel like it really stood out the most on top of the beautiful golden sparkly um, Zoya polish. So yeah, of course you can definitely recreate this design with any color combination of your personal preference or likings or anything like that. Of course, if you are really good at hand painting, which I definitely am not, you could recreate this design with just painting it by hand, but I get the shakes so darn often. I just can't do a design by hand like this because I would just get black polish all over the place like even worse than with stamping oh and for the record just to remove any excess polish you can just use um, a little piece of tape if you have used stamping polishes because that's really really a super quick and convenient way to remove any excess polish or you can just use some nail polish remover and a little cleanup brush but after you have let your stamped design sit for a couple of minutes you want to go in with your top coat and just to make it really easy and simple in this particular video, I used a regular just quick drying top coat by Catrice. I didn't use like a stamping top coat or something like that because I know that not everyone has that in their nail polish collection. So just to keep it really simple and really relatable as well, I'm just going in with a random top coat. One tip that I would love to share with you guys is just to make sure you have waited a little bit longer than usual before going in with the top coat. Just because stamping polishes are highly pigmented and if you go into um, or onto the nail with your top coat too fast, you might get some dragging. Now for this particular design, that isn't a bad thing. It actually adds a little character and some more stripes to the whole design. So it isn't really like a big deal if I have some dragging going on, which I certainly had a little bit of because, you know, I get a little impatient as well when waiting for my nail polish to be fully dry so i definitely had some dragging going on but because i have been asked so often to actually do a matte design i decided to just finish it off with the matte hollow taco polish or the matte taco however you want to call it just the matte top coat by hollow taco <laughs> um, and i am pretty impressed with this one just a little like side note definitely get this matte top coat because it is so good i know it is quite expensive like 12 bucks or something like that but it is super good and it gives a beautiful like satiny kind of finish i love it it is the best matte top coat that i have used so far and even though i am definitely a glossy finish fan I really like this matte top coat. I like it so much that actually a week after recording this video, I have recorded another design video with this matte top coat as well. Like, I know what is happening. Like, what's going on? <laughs> I am not myself, but yeah, I pretty much am myself. I just really, really love this matte top coat. So yeah, um, I do think that the matte finish actually brings out the shimmer even more that is in that Zoya polish that I used as a base. I think it gives just such a really cool effect and yeah, I don't know, I just really love the satiny matte finish and just a little bit of like sparkle that's still peeking through that. I love it. Um, just one other little quick tip that I'd love to share because someone shared it with me as well. I did have some issues with matte top coats actually being fully matte on the nail and a tip that I received from one of my subscribers is actually to just go in with a regular top coat first, let that settle and get dry like fully, and then go in with your matte top coat and your matte top coat will be flawlessly matte. And I guarantee you that is like the best trick or tip that I've ever had from someone because I was struggling with matte top coats and I didn't even like them that much, but using that like technique or trick however you want to call it really helped me out so i really hope that if you are struggling with your matte top coats as well that this technique will definitely help you out too but yeah this was the entire design already i am so in love with it i've worn it for a full week i think it was like six days that i actually wore it 
I love it, it's gorgeous, even though it's matte and I really love my glossy finishes, this was one of my favorite designs that I've done so far this year in 2021. Definitely let me know what you think about this design as well. And I just, I can't get over how much I love that matte top coat that I'm sure I'm going to be using it a lot for the rest of this year and I've actually repurchased it already when the new Holotaco collection came out. So yeah, I have already a backup that's on its way. But thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely let me know what you think about this design. I think it's pretty cool with like the fish print and just the messiness. But yeah, I hope to see you in one of my next videos as well. Thank you.